Hi there, this is Penny Manus Diefendorf with your Daily Grain. One of the sad realities of the times we live in is that it is by and large a world of deception. We are generally reluctant to be honest with ourselves and so therefore we can't be honest with each other and in the wider global sense there's a lot of spin put on things that go on, events that happen just um, as a marketing ploy. <laughs> it's all marketing. <laughs> so it is it becomes ever more crucial that we realize how truth feels to us because everybody telling the same story does not make it truth. We've seen some bizarre examples in our global world where decisions and events are instigated on lies. There's no <laughs> plainer way of putting it <laughs> and no polite way of putting it actually. And the decisions go ahead and the events go ahead because everybody buys into it and everybody starts saying the same thing which gives it the appearance of truth because no one's contradicting it but it does not make it true. <laughs> Only truth <laughs> makes something true. If we abandon the global situation at the moment, in your life it becomes even more critical. This is the ingredients of things like peer pressure and keeping up with the Joneses. It's all based on this, that because some bunch of people somewhere have said that this is the way things should be, everyone then plays along and agrees that this is the way things should be. Not if you intend to reach consciousness, because your ability to discern what is true within yourself and out there in the world is very critical, not just for your evolution, but for our evolution, for the <laughs> evolution of mankind as a species, if you look at it that way. Because each of us either contribute or detract from the erroneous assumptions in our society. So if one person ceases to agree, that makes the erroneous statement that less steady. And if all of us cease to agree with something that is not true, it will cease to exist. And in this way, and in only this way, can we hope to start correcting the balance in our societies and in our world. So think about how you would like to remove yourself from a world of deception.